Courtney Granger here, live from the dungeons at Hogwarts, and I'm here to give you guys a potion class. A lot of times, science and magic seem very similar, so today we're gonna do what you muggles call some science experiments, even though to me, I know them as magic. We've got all of our supplies, including our very important textbook, Advanced Potion Making by Libaceous Borage. So I'll be taking a peek at this, even though I pretty much have it memorized at this point, um, to help me through our science experiments today for our potions class. Accio supplies. Okay, we're all set. Today, the, our first potion is going to be a calming draught. So what we're going to need is four different cups for um, different colors. We're gonna dye some water, and we're gonna have one for each color of the Hogwarts houses. Gotta represent our school. And then we're gonna have vegetable oil and uh, Alka-Seltzer and water. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. First, I'm gonna pour a little bit of water into each cup. You don't need a ton. Then I'm just gonna put a couple drops in uh, each, cu each cup. We've got our green for Slytherin. I mean, they're really not that bad, you guys. Sometimes they get a bad name. We've got yellow for Hufflepuff. They're great. Hufflepuffs are excellent finders. Red for Gryffindor, the best, and blue for Ravenclaw. They're the second best. Everybody knows that. Let's be real. Okay, I'm just gonna give those a little bit of a mix. And I'm just gonna bring those to the back a little bit. Then we're going to fill our vase with vegetable oil. Yes, excellent. So then we're just going to add a little bit of droplets into the vegetable oil with our water. And I, you, if you have an eyedropper, that would probably work best. I don't have one, so I'm gonna go ahead and just drop it gently with my spoon. And so you can see these little bubbles and droplets of color are starting to appear and float down into the oil. All right, that's enough blue, add some red. Yellow, although yellow may not show up very good. And that looks pretty cool. And also just go crazy and see what happens if you do a big old glob. Whoa, look at those big old bubbles. Oh, there's another big drop. And you see how it's all settling down at the bottom? Ooh, that was a big one. Okay. Now, the reason I call it a calming draught is because it can be very relaxing to watch. So, just to give it an extra effect, I'm gonna add some more water to our mixture. Fill that up rest of the way. And then, I'm gonna add in an Alka-Seltzer Alka tablet. You see all the bubbles forming? Let's add a little bit more water to that. You can see all of our colored bubbles just dancing around in there. We'll add a little bit more, get some more bubbles going, add some more color just to see it all dance around. So sometimes it's just nice to um, take a break and just watch all those bubbles fizz. And that is our calming draught. Let's move on to our next one. This is gonna be called a pepper up potion which is often used for colds to help just clear up your system and make you feel better. So um, our supplies today are gonna be warm water, soap, and dry ice. Dry ice is a very dangerous substance, so um, kids, if you're watching, make sure you have an adult help you with this, and you should always be wearing 
gloves or use tongs. You don't want it to touch your skin directly. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is pour our container with some water. That should probably be good. Then, get some of our dry ice. We're gonna put it in our cup. And dry ice is basically solid carbon dioxide. So, um, all that steam is the carbon dioxide when it's turning, uh, when it's warming up and turning into a gas. So to add a fun effect, we can also um, add some uh, food coloring. So I'm gonna put in some blue to really make it stand out. Just a couple drops. Ooh, yeah, look at that contrast. That looks awesome. Okay, so now next we're going to put in some uh, dish soap to see what that does. And you see how it's bubbling? It's doing this because the dish soap kind of traps all of that carbon dioxide into a little bubble until you pop it. It's time to clean up this mess and move on to our next potion. Our next potion we're gonna make is Beguiling Bubbles Love Potion. This one you wanna be careful about who you give it to. Love potions can be very powerful. Okay, so first we needed to fill up our jar about halfway with vinegar. So we did that, and then just as a little extra fun for later, I went ahead and just colored some more vinegar so we can change the colors as we want. Okay, so then we're gonna add some um, food coloring to our vinegar, and we're gonna go with green on this one. Yeah. Then we're also going to add some glitter, why not? Okay. Very beautiful. You can add as much or as little as you want. Then we're just gonna give it a stir. Make sure that's all nice and mixed up. Our glitters and food coloring is in, so now I'm gonna add some baking soda to the mix. Probably do about a whole teaspoon and if you add to it or once you stir it makes it fizz even more and you see all that glitter coming out and then just to keep the reaction going I'm going to just add more vinegar in a different color add more baking soda just to keep all the fizzing coming out. And oh, there you go, see a big old splurge of glitter. And then let's try adding some more vinegar. See the colors change. Now we're gonna turn to yellow a bit. Add more baking soda. And just keep playing with it. Look at that one, woo! Oh my, wow. All right, let's add our last color. We got red and then add some more vinegar, or I mean baking soda. And then we'll give it another stir. Oh my, look at that. Our beguiling bubbles love potion. Let's clean this up and move on to the next one. This is not going to be a potion but rather a project. Um, we're going to be making our own crystal ball. Uh, divination is probably the least important subject there is out there. Like there is no fact, no truth to it. You don't need it in your everyday life. 
So I don't know why they teach it, but I know you have to take the class. I'm not blaming you. I know you have to take it. So um, the crystal balls at Diagon Alley are so expensive. So I'm gonna teach you how to make your very own from home. So I've got this bowl with warm water in it. So I'm gonna put in a piece of dry ice. Now be sure to always handle it with tongs or gloves. You don't wanna to ever touch it directly to your skin because otherwise it will burn you. Okay, so we've got our dry ice in there. Then I'm going to take some soapy water, just run my hand around the edge of the bowl, and then I'm going to dip this paper towel into it, get it nice and soapy, and then I'm going to run my towel across it. Okay, so we've got our um, bubble soap has trapped the dry ice, the carbon dioxide, and so you see it billowing up. So now you can go like, ooh, crystal ball action, even though you don't really need it. And you can just let it get as high as you want it. Woo, that is getting big. Try again. We'll try doing one up close. Okay, there we go. And it's just gonna slowly build up. There it goes, oh yeah. Thanks for joining me for potions class. Hope you had a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.